Good morning. So today we're out here in the wide open. They are actually coming to burn today. So I'm on the bow range right now and I am trying to pick up all of the targets. Let's see if I can show you right there. Trying to pick up all the targets so that they don't get burned up when they get here and start the big fire. So that's what I'm doing early this morning is getting prepped and I had to get a few things away from the edge of the CRP line. So let's continue to do this and I'll give you an update here shortly when when it's on fire. <laughs> Here we are, the Alabama Forestry Service is showing up. We're about to burn the farm. Ooh, look at the size of that bulldozer. That is in case they need it. Oh, it feels good. I'm cold. Now that's a fire. Oh, we could 
flames up there. I know y'all can't tell how high the flames are, but geez, that one's up there. That one's taller than me. going to move now. This will make our pines grow. They won't be starved for nutrients. This will get the native grasses in here. And then the burning every two to five years will be so much easier because it'll be like the sagebrush. And I mean, you light it and it's gone. Yeah, so clean it up. Okay guys, here we are. Um, we're out here doing the burn on the farm today. So 
we're cleaning out and i'm telling you this is going to make it so much better on the pines that are growing and get rid of some of the note ropes that we've had this summer so hopefully uh, we'll have less snakes and less ticks and a whole lot more pine tree growth there is a fire over here i can hear i'm gonna show you this one love it when it burns good like that. Yeah, I might need to back up. I'm getting covered in stuff. Oh, they've lit the world on fire right there. services they know what they're doing looks like it hit that fire break it just stopped look at that it hits the fire break and boom it's gone We're leaving this little patch right here just for some wildlife habitat right in front of the house. We will burn it later. Good Lord, look over there. That fire caught up over there for sure. Now, I know this one's a long ways off, but that fire has started climbing pine trees. Of course, it's probably one of the loblollies that we don't really care so much about. Okay, so um, let's look right here. They did have the fire to jump a little bit into an area that we were saving for habitat, but they have got it out. They have all the equipment they need. The fire has just gotten a lot bigger and we are a long way from this fire but can y'all see that it is very tall right in there it's very tall and it's above the tops of the house even but they have been very very good and they're very good at what they do so they are about to torch this side of the bow range over here in this area, I can hear him shooting fire out his little fire gun. So happy because it's it's been two years since we burned it and the first time it did not burn as good because of the type of undergrowth that it had but this year um, the fuel is a lot better and you know we had the drought which dried out a lot of 
the undergrowth and had it laid over so it could fuel itself a whole lot easier. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow night and that will wash away a lot of this black. And can you imagine the pretty green grasses when they start coming up? Oh, it's just gonna be lovely. Y'all good things are happening on the farm. Y'all farm on.